So I think what this is called this icon of Shin. I don't know why, but I always feel like I'm spelling this wrong, even though I'm pretty sure I'm correct. Well, I can't see on Discord because it shortened the name. So I guess we're just going to consider that. Since this was a direct submission, um... I won't be able to make a link to it in the VOD. Unless they provide me with like a public link or something like that, I usually don't. Because I never know about the intention, but uh, anyway, yeah. There is no uh, readme for this either, as far as I'm aware. Because the untitled spreadsheet that came with it is just a... an Excel version of uh, Dark Link. <laughs> So uh, anyway, we can get started on this. You know what? With this one, I'll run the latest version of Jeez uh, Doom. Because I think... It says he recommends OpenGL start working... Oh wait, yeah, I can read the Discord description that uh, he left. I'd like your opinion on my work in progress map for Painted Doom, the Icon of Shin. It's MBF21, requires both resource packs in the directory. Yeah, they were provided. I recommend OpenGL, still working out some software rendering issues. Hey, Deet. No, I uh, just uh, started it now. I haven't actually started playing it yet. Oh dear god. What well, is called Painted Doom, so I think this is. Okay, so you said hardware. Rendering mode. You know, someone told me how to, like, set this the other day, and I just completely forgot. Set the set it in OpenGL. I forget where to actually set that. I don't remember where to actually set that. I used to know, because I used to switch back and forth, but ever since Vulcan, I haven't really had to. Can I set it in the uh, console? Whoa. It's only cosmetic anomalies? Oh. I'm guessing this is all how it's supposed to look. Especially since it's called Painted Doom. I already hit that. Yellow Skull. It's also slowing down, too. I can actually see the frame rate dip. I think the enemy sprites should be replaced. This is my first time seeing it. Yeah, they're all default. Maybe I don't have it in the right load order. I have the resource packs. 
And you know what? Let's try it on 410 just in case. Oh dear god, and once again, Jiza Doom. Because I'm switching different versions for some reason, it just messes up. I don't know why. I don't know why the mouse sensitivity is different between the two versions of Jiza Doom. No, there's still, uh... There's still the base monsters. Maybe for some reason the resource packs don't work in Jiza Doom. I guess this is a good testing ground for compatibility. I don't know how to get out of here. Is jumping allowed? I mean, I can jump, but it's jumping permitted. Is what I'm wondering. Cause yeah, there's that pad right there. have to get back up there. Which I think I have to hit the switch again. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Yeah, 
I can't get to the rocket launcher because... Well, I guess I could once I deal with the, uh... Once I deal with them. Colors are displayed a bit differently from button in pit. There's a line leading to the wall that comes down, so you're missing some signposting. The pad works from different angles. Little janky, though. Yeah, this might not be a good testing... <laughs> I might not be able to finish this without cheating. But it's at least good info to know that there's probably some compatibility issues with GZ Doom with this. It happens. So that revenant stuck. Those revenants are actually in fighting with uh, the arachnatrons, so we don't have to worry about them now. So... Maybe not. Maybe I don't have to... Oh, like I could probably get some of these arachnatrons to infight with the Kakos. I don't know how, but they're infighting with that Mancubus up there. Yeah, there we go. I can keep a lot of these guys busy. I have to get up there. Once enough of the enemies on the ground, I'll start killing the Arachnatrons once there's enough enemies on the ground that have been, uh, killed. Actually, a lot of these Arachnatrons are pretty much dead. Well, some of them.
They're either dead or they're just being kept busy. So those arachnotrons are pretty much the only ones left. He's launching enemies, but they're not coming in here. I'm wondering if that's intentional or not. Everything's intended so far besides some minor visual stuff. All right. So right now we'll say it's mostly compatible with GZ Doom. Tops of the trees are green and whatnot, some of the greens are reds. So I got a red key. Holy hell. Hey, this is way bigger than I thought it was. Oh, there we are. Oh, that was a secret. It did say it was a secret. You probably just didn't hear the sound because it's really fucking loud. <laughs> hmm. But that's just doom.
How do I get up here? Other side? Oh. Thankfully, I didn't take too many hits. I completely missed... Like, I know where they are, I just... Yeah, they're literally right here. I have no idea where he's at. You just run through? Is this just a joke? Oh. <laughs> you know me in Arc Files. Oh, uh, okay, I got you. I am overly cautious with Arc Files. Like a weird sort of way, this is a little fever dreamy. Just because I'm not used to these colors. Little thing in the lower wall is going to be an arc vole, which you can kill by stepping on. Uh, I approve of that because it insta kills arc files. They are my arch nemeses. Shot caller? I don't know why, but I thought that said short baller. I. I hopefully they get arc volt as well. There's a bunch of switches here. At least I thought they were switches. Oh, they're shoot switch? The dark walls are short switch. Oh, okay. Lines. Oh, there's a foot here. And Legos. Shot collar wall is the puzzle. Oh. Oh wait, it has something to do with these, right? Maybe not. See like, small little red indents. Shoot over the shot collar part? Oh. Oh. I could still technically get that Megasphere. I'm just kind of trying of avoiding it a little bit. 
I don't know if there's another fight after this. You just have to fill in half the left side. It will do more stuff later. Huh? I'm guessing shooting knees regularly doesn't really do anything, right? And I'm just doing it just in case. Oh. Wait, is it already done or did I just screw something up? I have to do it again, don't I? Puzzle is done in this version. Ah, oh, okay. I think this was... I think that was because of all the stuff that I was summoning. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this was before I did the puzzle. Is it pretty much over? I I'm not surprised because of, uh... said Doom's wonderful, uh... I, that's right, you only have to do half. I'm still gonna light the whole thing up, though. Because of uh, Jiza Doom's wonderful optimization. Because, like, outside of, like, putting it in god mode because of how much it likes there, uh, I might not be able to actually finish this. You just have to... Oh, you have to hit the foot. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Since there's, like, several different arc vials here... Wait, were these all the ones I killed? Alright, yeah, hold on. I'm gonna do this legit then. That one's off, right? Yeah, it was off. opened up at one point. I forget how I got it to open up, though. shortly after uh
shit. This is... Hug the... Uh, no, that doesn't seem to work in, uh, Jesus of Doom. Or maybe I'm not doing it right. There we go. Is that all of them? That's all of them. There's the exit. Well, that was an interesting level. <laughs> Last part gave me anxiety, but uh, other than that, that was very interesting. Secret exit can also be your... I am not doing that. I absolutely detest vile jumps. Yeah. I'm guessing this is, this was, you said this was part of a bigger project, I think? Oh, wow. Look at what it does to this level, though. <laughs> it's for Painted Doom, a sequel to DIY. With the Ancient Aliens palette, ah. Uh, I must have been thinking of something else. As far as, like, the bigger project goes. Okay, um... Do I have it up? Yeah, I do have it up. Okay, so there's a couple of maps from last week. That I didn't get to, but I still kind of wanted to do. I think they're just pretty much standard levels. But here's the thing, they're called Fart and Fart 2, and I think they're by the same person. So, uh, I'm actually going to list... Alright, so here. Let's change it. Part and part two. It's not by you. <laughs> Alright, so I'll, I'll read the, uh... I'll read the description for the first one. This wad has one map, which is a short Doom style map with large open areas. Requires Doom 2 as a base wad. Extract them both. Uh, and they also seem like they just use vanilla assets and stuff, so 
I'll use the PlayStation Doom sound effects and, uh... And, uh, smooth Doom for these. If these are the ones I'm thinking of, interesting ideas. And there's only 33 monsters on Fart. Fart 2 gets a little slaughter mappy, but it still doesn't seem like. Did I play Ball's Labyrinth already? I... The name sounds familiar. I don't remember if I did, though. Okay, so it's called Fart. Hang on. Let's see if we can find something more appropriate. Uh, I don't think I can loop it, though. God, I really wish you could loop YouTube tracks. Alright. Because <laughs> I would just play that the whole time. Alright, now let's turn entryway back up. I had a feeling that was going to happen. I have to go AFK, hope you have fun with these. <clears throat> yeah, no problem. It's glad I was able to test it out and see how compatible it was with, uh, GZ Doom.
Nice! I love playing worse than the first time I did it. And just not dodging for, like, no apparent reason. Because apparently my brain likes to turn off randomly. Holy shit! At least I got to see an imp body a, uh... A Revenant. Okay, this time I'm saving. Because I think there was literally... Alright, and that was Fart. Fairly simple map. You would expect it to be kind of a joke map because, you know, bodily noises, but... I think... I think maybe the guy just didn't know what to name it, so he just thought of the first word that came to his head. <laughs> That's what I'm assuming. But, uh, hold on. So I guess we'll get the mu uh, ambient music back up, just because I have to read the one for Fart 2. Also, I have to make my way all the way back to my map folder. As far as I know, this one is... Uh, also entirely vanilla. This bot has one map, which is a short, intense, fast-paced slaughter map with aggressive gameplay and an overwhelming amount of monsters taking place in the small cave. He says it's a slaughter map, but from what the preview video says, it's only 151 monsters. It seems like the majority of them are imps. Yeah, I wasn't living through that.
I hated that. I'm sorry, I absolutely detested that, and I really wish I didn't waste my time on it. The first one was, like, kind of funny, like a nice, simple map. That one sucked. I am usually not blatant uh, when it comes to that stuff. That sucked. I have mentioned before in the past how sometimes Super Mario Maker can be kind of a pain to play, especially on Expert, because there's just... There's some of these maps where you just have blatant enemy spam, and that's the only reason why people die on it so much. Where they just fall from the sky and shit. Uh, that- this was pretty much the Doom equivalent of that. Um... A lot of the times when you play Slaughter Maps, they at least have elaborately designed stages... ...where... ...there's a certain trick to it. That one was liter- this was literally an endurance test. Uh... Best advice I can give to this person who made it part two in particular. Um, work on designing regular maps uh, and regular level design before you attempt the slaughter map again, because that... I don't even like slaughter maps in general, but sometimes I can kind of tell where the level design is going and how the arena design is set up, and there's... Oftentimes a trick to it like there's almost an art to design like a really good slaughter map level That maybe I don't appreciate as much as how some other people do it That was not it That was enemy spam in like one of the I wouldn't say the worst example because the level design wasn't terrible But the level design did not complement the monster placement at all That was pretty much an endurance test and a dice roll. Because of the pain elementals in particular. Uh, so yeah, work on level design and straight map design before you attempt a slaughter map again. Uh, cause this was not fun and it was not worth me not cheating. I've played hard maps that have beaten my ass that I did not cheat on. And, uh, yeah, the... Rarely will I say this is an L. And I try and see, like, redeeming qualities to things that I play, and I try not to be brutal. And I'm not insulting, I think you probably just did this for fun. Uh, but if I can give any advice to that map, don't do it. That was literally enemy spam. And pretty much the only way that you can have fun with that map, in my opinion, is by playing something like Russian Overkill. Um... That pretty much reminded me of some of the, uh, Vine Sauce Contest wads that people submitted just as a joke. And I'm talking specifically about the people that just did not ever make a Doom map before that did it specifically for that contest. What map are we talking about? Fart 2. And the name is indicative of equality. I am sorry. Uh, care shucks, I am sure you can do better than that, and I'm sure that was just a joke map. And I realized that, that was it was technically a solder map that you were going for, and that's not it. <laughs> the map maker definitely has potential, though. But that that was not it. <laughs> okay. Alright, this next one, take out both Smooth Doom and PlayStation sound effects. 
Because this one is actually... Hold on. Let's get the... Not that one. <laughs> hey, Fox. Lost episodes of Doom instead. I might do that on Monday. I don't know. It just depends on my mood. But I want... I would like to do that with, uh... Doom Delta. And I meant to. I wasn't feeling that well this week, so if you... Wondered why I wasn't streaming this entire week. It was just because I wasn't feeling well. I can click off of that. I feel like this one might kick my ass too, but it doesn't... We'll see though. Basically how bad you think ML for Doom 2 are, the lost episodes of... ML? What's ML? If the lost episodes are really hard, then yeah, maybe I should... Maybe I should think about doing a different... Map pack then. Master levels? Oh. I thought the lost, uh... I thought the lost level, or the lost episode... I thought it was just, like, reworking of... Like, the PlayStation Doom maps, and, like... Some other ones. Actually, I have to... That was running a little too far to the side. There we go. Yeah, maybe I should rethink that then. You know what? I might bag Ev Eternity 2 and, uh, and that, like, entirely and just go straight to Quake because, honestly, I'm in kind of, I've been in, I'm suddenly in quite a kind of a Quake mood. So I might finish my playthrough of, uh, the Quake remaster. We'll see. On Monday, I'll decide when I want to do it. Okay, so, uh... What was this? The lost episodes are easy, but the overall level design is nonsensical, disjointed, haphazard, and bland. Oh, okay, I got you. I think it's because they weren't really supposed to be made to connect with each other. They were they are kind of like the master levels in that they're oh, there are their own as separate levels. Probably. That's what I'm assuming anyway. Okay, so I'll start the split here. This is my chemical doom mance by uh Major Arlene. The description on the Doom World pages. So someone posted a joke map that was textured with nothing but Gerard Way pictures. At first I thought, well, that's silly, but then I remembered, oh, hey, I was an emo once upon a time and had a huge crush on that guy. I've outgrown the crush, but still love My Chemical Romance, so I thought, why not make something with all the silly fan edits I did as a teenager? So I went to Photo Bucket, retrieved my edits as that was the only place I could find them, and made something extremely silly. Art is the weapon, so your only way to fight back against the demons is to use the Chemical Romancer. I had some help. Cheers to... Cap Alley 47 for his music maker weapon from Insanity Deathmatch to fit this project. Otherwise, this was a silly project made mostly as a joke, but also to make myself get something out the door in less than a month. This took about two weeks. No difficulty settings, don't ask for them. Play with GZ Doom 411. Uh, lights and hardware mode on, please. Unless there's something super broken, I'll be finalizing this fairly soon. Yeah, what was the monster count on the WAD page? 363. I know that Major Arlene tends to make uh, fairly difficult maps, so... I might get my ass handed to me on this. 
Created by two people who insisted on over-reliance on fodder enemies and very few barons. Lost souls, cacker demons, cyber demons, spider demons. Absolutely no sense of quality control. Uh, maybe I'll still play it then. Christ. <laughs> well, at least it's MIDI. I don't really care if, uh, if it gets flagged on YouTube, because sometimes YouTube flags the, uh, video even if it uses a MIDI, but it only, like, takes away your ad revenue, and I don't get ad revenue from YouTube, so I don't really care. And it, it doesn't mute for midis on Twitch, so I don't have to worry about the VOD getting muted. As long as it doesn't use actual My Chemical Romance music, which shouldn't be a problem because you can't post copyrighted material like that on Doom World, so I doubt Major Arlene did that. Yeah, and once again, God. Actually, it's weird. It seems like the vertical sensitivity was too high. Red Skull. Okay. Oh yeah, this looks like it's gonna kick my ass. Is there supposed to be music? Did I accidentally mute the music? No. Oh, I see the gimmick now. The music comes from the gu- Alright, she literally said that, too. The music comes from the gun. That's a nice quote and all, but uh, what am I supposed to do after that? Like, this is here. Oh. Oh, maybe I have to kill him. just keep firing. I think that's the whole point. I would keep firing, but I don't want to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> 
because <clears throat> this does hurt me. I think this concept's pretty fucking good. <laughs> oh god. All right. Oh, I forgot to pick up the soul sphere. Get everything. So I'd probably get the yellow key from here. I can't leave, so. The worst take from every heart you break, like the bleed. Yeah, I think these are all MCR lyrics. I think maybe picking that up activates something. Or not. I don't know what to do now. Assuming there's a switch or something? I don't see anything, though. Uh, I thought it maybe I could... If I shot something, then... Uh, did I break it? I wouldn't put it past me to break... Oh, wait. Okay. I know what to do now. You know what? I'll leave that there. I'm also dumb. I, I think maybe I'm like... Just really, really stupid. I don't know. Probably. Okay, then. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, you know, I will say, uh, I never really got into their music. However, two things. I do think they're talented. Uh, they also put on a hell of a live show, because I saw them... I think it was Project Revolution, one of the Project Revolution tours with uh, Linkin Park that they opened for them. And they did pretty good. The guy was in like, the lead singer was in like 90 degree uh, weather wearing like that full black like conductor's outfit, like music conductor outfit. So, like, he was committed to the act. He eventually had to take a water break. This is all still... This guy looks like he's supposed to be part of, like, a southern rock band, not a emo band. Danger Days of the Tr Are these, like, album covers or something like that? I don't ever remember seeing these. This looks like the lead singer of Smash Mouth... Not, not Smash Mouth. I mean, why did I say that? That's like the worst image I think I've ever gotten in my head. The lead, sm the lead singer of the Smashing Pumpkins, if you join My Chemical Romance. This is what it looks like. Why did I say Smash Mouth? I I'm never going to get over that now. That's probably the easiest Major Arlene map. I've only ever played a few of her maps, though, but that's probably the easiest one I've played of hers. Good god, well, uh... That was, uh, interesting, to say the least. Yeah, my sister really liked, uh... My Chemical Romance. Again, like, back... Back then, when I was more into new Metal, like, the... I was into Deftones. Uh, Deftones back then, Linkin Park, uh... I could never really get into Korn that much. Kinda like Limp Bizkit, not really the biggest fan of theirs. Um... Loved Mudvayne. Yeah, fun fact, the Summer Sanitarium tour was when, like, Deftones, like, skyrocketed one of my favorite bands, because Mudvayne, uh, was, like, one of the first acts, and Sully did an amazing job, like, the lead singer, like, um, they were really good live, and then Deftones came out, um, right after them, first song they did, I'm pretty sure, was Hexagram, 
and Chino completely blew Sully out of the water. His lung, uh, his lungs, and his face turned beet red. And I was just like, Jesus Christ! I thought, uh, and I thought Mudvayne was good. <laughs> Deftones just come out and just completely wipe the floor with them. And then, uh, we didn't stick around for Limp Bizkit and uh, Metallica because neither my sister nor I were really that into them. We were just there for Linkin Park, pretty much. But then I ended up really liking Deftones and Mudvayne because of that tour, so. But yeah, My Chemical Romance was on the Project Revolution tour with Linkin Park. I don't remember what year that was. But they put on a good show. I, I could just I just never got into their music. And then uh the metalcore scene started happening uh soon after that. So I started getting into that more. I still kinda like metalcore, but I think like the broad genre as a whole has kinda gotten stale, so like lately I've been more into prog progressive metal. Uh like periphery, ginger. Uh, 12 foot ninja. I like ones that experiment heavily, but keep, still keep the secret of the spirit of the band. Why am I having s such a problem with words today? So, uh, yeah, that's a little, uh, that just got me talking about music, so now I'm happy. Next one is the Star Zone demo. Hold on. Wait, did I... Oh, right, I skipped this one because it's actually two maps now. So, I can't. it can't be a single map showcase map. It says one map in the video, but I think he's added a second map to it. Otherwise, I would do that one. Maybe one of these days I should do, like, a multi-map showcase where... It's not an episode long, it's like multiple maps long, but they're still fairly short to do in a single session. I don't know, one of these days I'll do it. Alright, so I think this one looks like it's fairly vanilla. Yeah, I don't think it'll take that long either. Okay, so it's... So, the next map is Disease by Green Anime. So the description on the Doom World page is, I really like the tech grin textures, so started messing with it. Map's theme is green and mean. Green visuals and mean difficulty. I just started mapping this year, and this is my carefully aligned textures I've ever had. So criticisms would be highly appreciated. I think most of the people in the comments said that, uh... There's a red key door issue, which I'm not sure they fixed. It says mean demeanor. I'm not really sure what mean means other than a bunch of in-your-face monsters with very little weaponry, which I'm kind of dreading. Uh, but yeah, again, it's fairly vanilla, so I'll add... PlayStation sound effects and smooth doom back in.
Yeah, I'm seeing where the meanness is starting to come in. Oh, yeah. There is exactly one secret on this map. Yeah, I still needed to get that. I still want to go down here, because I think there might have been something good in here. I wanted to make sure he didn't leave. Yeah, there is a backpack that actually is pretty good. Oh, I guess I could have... You know what? Uh, I'll take that. I just want to see if there's anything down here. Hey, I was right. I don't know about down here, though. Can't go down there. All right. Yeah, we're gonna reload that. That ended up even worse. I always love how I approach the same part knowing what's going to happen and I play progressively worse each time. You know, normally, normal people, when they play parts repeatedly, they do better and better each time. Until eventually they get it right. Not me though. No, not me. Not me. Me, me, I do the opposite. Because you know, when, it, when you're me, you get opposite day. That's, that's what it is. That's what it is. That's what it is. That's what it is. That's what it fucking is. You you just get opposite day from me. Because, you know, every day is opposite day for me. Like, you know how I say I'm probably pretty good at Doom at this point? No, I actually haven't learned a damn thing. I am still that beginner that should be playing on Hurt Me Plenty, but I have too big of an ego to do that. So yeah, rant over. I didn't even have to do that yet. That was probably like the last actual part. At least I don't think I did. Oh, here we go.
I don't know how, but the arc file managed to kill him. I don't think I need to go back in there anyway. We'll just, we'll let them kill each other. I probably do need to go back in there because there's probably part of the stage that opened up in there. At least there's more ammo back here, so yeah, it was, I guess, kind of worth it. Nothing else, really, though. I have a blue key. I can't get it into where the red key is. Okay, most likely I'm going to have to pick that up. Dear God. If it wasn't for the arc file, this, this is gonna be interesting. Hang on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try something. Never mind. This may actually be a bit of a test. Okay, unless it was intended for me to do that, that might be something that they might want to fix. Because <laughs> this is like a massive cheese on this part. I feel like the intention was to get locked in there. Yeah, this is literally a massive cheese. I'd say, like, next time, as soon as you pick up the, uh... Well, at least figure out a way, because I've never... There's other map makers that have done this before, when you pick up something. Like, I guess put a, uh... Like, a line def or a trigger or something. Right where you pick up the Berserk pack. 
so that this just comes immediately down or at least something that blocks your ability to open the door. And then put a switch in there so that it opens back up once you've cleared everything out. Because this is a massive cheese that makes this part way easier. Unless you know I'm stupid and I do that. I know the way that I did it here I don't think was really intended I kind of like that I can kind of cheese it but I feel like that made that part uh, it wouldn't necessarily say trivial because you still have to go inside to trigger the uh the Barons, Hell Knights, and then the uh, Arc File. So you still have to deal with them, but that made that part massively easier because of the fact that uh, I knew that I couldn't get locked in. But otherwise, that was uh, really well done. Uh, already pre-warned that that was... See, that was borderline slaughter mappy. I wouldn't necessarily say it was. Uh, I only say it's borderline just because there's, like, a lot of monsters in, like, a cramped spot. So it was kind of, like, on a small scale. But that wasn't enemy spam like uh, the other map was that I ended up cheating because it just was not that good. This one was, like, far better. Uh, far more balanced. I think I could have probably gotten past that part even without cheesing it. It just made it massively easy, or easier, and it was probably not intended to do that. But that was the final fight anyway, so that was supposed to be hard. Alright, um... Let's see... What was the next one? The next one is Black Forge Basilis Basilissa or Basilica. I don't know how to pronounce it. And it's 625 monsters. I have that downloaded, right? Like sometimes I'll pass on them if they if it seems like it's too hard for someone like me. Or that I may not enjoy it, or it might take way too long. Yeah, hold on. I may have actually decided to skip this one. Realm entry... No, 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 I actually did download it. Alright, so that one might take a while. And I'm already at, like, nearly the two-hour mark. I wanted to see if maybe the, the there was a quick one that was next. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna take a break. Alright, I'm back. Sorry, took longer than I thought it would.
Last Remnant. I'm not sure if that was a recent game or not. Okay. So let's get the map and the author name up here. Basilica is probably what that's called. It says author... Is that what it says on the Doomlots channel? John Cartwright, yeah. Alright. So this next map is Black Forge Basilica by John Cartwright. Description uh, says, a nice map for boom. This uses dark brick and metal to craft a tight but fun map with a lot of interconnected areas with open arenas as well as tight corridors. Credits to the Scythe 2 offer, uh, offer, author. I borrowed the Afrit code and graphics. Yeah, I don't think from the video, I think it's all... Like, it's not vanilla textures, but it's vanilla monsters and... Weapons, I believe. Yeah, so I'll, I'll still use Smooth Doom at the PlayStation sound effects for this. say Black Forge. Oh. Okay, I definitely, I f think I definitely have to set the graphics different. Plastic seems good. Wait, it's still set, right? Because sometimes it'll reset it anyway. Alright, it's still set. Four shotgun shells. They replaced the uh, the shotgun shell box, though, or like the shells themselves, anyway.
I was so close. Oh, I missed this too. Okay, well, I'm kind of glad I got killed because I missed the super shotgun earlier. Wait. No, I want to go this way. Those are actual boxes. They look different, though. So, yeah. I guess that's everything over there. I'm always very cautious. Oh, I definitely want that though. It has me more than a little concerned that it didn't cause the entire room to fill up. but I'm kind of glad that they still gave me armor regardless. You know, if I would have just went to the left or the right, I could have avoided that entirely. But nope, I had to go the big brain route. Now the reason why I did that is because in the Doomwatch channel video he was punching him. I don't know why he was punching him, but he was punching him. So I kind of figured, well, that probably works too. And wouldn't you know it, it actually did. I love Kakos being able to hit me through windows and me fully seeing their ability to do so and me still not moving.
Okay, I'm not doing it from there. <laughs> I'll leave. I'm not sure if I had to do that, but I felt like it, so I did it. This looks cool. Uh, yeah, now I regret doing it. So with any luck, all of those lost souls will just kind of get into infights with a lot of the other demons that are here. The problem is that one over there is still alive. There we are. Oh my god, what? That's not good. Why him? <laughs> okay, well I got an idea. See if I, he gets out of there. No, he just can't. He's gonna be a fucking moron now. And my plan's gonna be foiled because of it. He won't be able to find his way out of there now for like no apparent reason. Yeah, he actually literally can't get out of there now. Or at least he can't figure it out. So, like, my plan of having him in fight with everything else is kind of like... There we go, he finally got out. Now, I could use some health. I think there's some back here, actually. Yeah, so I'm hoping they're all just, like, infighting out there right now, because... Oh, there's one right there. Good. Ah! Oh, yeah, good. He's occupied with that Hell Knight. Actually, I should go over there. There's, uh... What's this? It's like a maze right here.
Oh god. I don't have the rocket launcher yet. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm dead. I thought I was dead. Thank God I wasn't. Come on, come over here. Kill some more of these enemies for me. I'm not saving at this point because I lost so much health. Okay, like, not this, but there was... A point where I found a backpack. Wait, did I do that when I already saved? Or was it? No, I think it might have been over here. No, it wasn't in there. Oh, I already got the pack. All right. That save point was when I already got it. You're giving me rocket ammo. I might have missed the rocket launcher at some point. Idea where my doppelganger went. I might have died. So otherwise, I feel like he'd be chasing me right now, otherwise. Okay, so there are custom enemies. Oh well. Too late. Oh my god, there's a bunch of backpacks over here. And I still only have a shotgun. Anything other than like shotgun shit around. There's nothing in there. And can I also get some extra armor? That would be nice. Nothing else really in here.
Yeah, my doppelganger must have died. I hope he doesn't drop anything. I don't really know what what that switch opened when I got to the red door. Might have opened this? Yeah, I think it opened this, because this wasn't open before. Yes, yeah, so I got that. So I can go back to this room. But I'm not sure how relevant that is. Maybe maybe to get in here. Okay, I can go in here, too. I could use some armor. Like, this room almost seems a little scary. I, t I don't know what to expect at all. I'm a fucking moron. I am a fucking idiot. Holy shit, am I so fucking bad at this game. Sometimes. No secrets on this map either. game sometimes. It's ridiculous. For some reason, I can climb up there. I did that on purpose. fair, they are a little hard to see. I am bad at this video game. I am bad. I am so fucking bad at this video game.
gonna have to be extra cheesy. Because I am just that bad at video games right now. Like, again, to be fair, it's they're pretty darkened, so it's really hard to see when they're actually gonna start firing, but then there was other times where I was just really fucking slow. Thankfully, I saved. For some reason, they're not moving. Oh god. I still have not found anything better than the chain gun and the super shotgun. And there's no secrets either. So I'm not really sure where to get them. Another red key? Why was there another red skull there? I'm almost wondering if Smooth Doom might have broken something. I hope not. I mean, if it really is starting to get to the point where Smooth Doom is breaking more than I think it is, then I might stop using it altogether. I don't think it broke anything, though. But it's just odd that there was another red skull there. Oh, nice. I just flat out die here. Nice. That's, that's great. I, I love it. There's a death pit right there. it broke anything though I just I'm just it's just odd that there was another red skull there and that requires a blue key So why aren't they moving?
Okay, it definitely feels like, uh... I probably shouldn't have been using Smooth Doom. I almost feel like it might have broken something. I still don't know yet, but it's just odd that he would put a second red skull there. I feel like maybe that was supposed to be a blue key. be wrong. There are more areas here. So maybe I am wrong. I hope I'm actually wrong. No, there's a blue skull right here. But I'm not sure if this oh, actually opens a door. It might be a key card I need. No, it actually did open it. Alright, never mind. It didn't break anything. Okay, so it's even more odd right now because there was this area back. Did I unlock this area at some point? I guess I did. I am just, I am very confused right now. I'm not stuck down here, am I? No. Okay, well, I killed it. Oh. Not even sure I had to kill him. Hey, Knight. Uh, doing pretty good. A couple of misses, but mostly hits tonight. Oh, that's okay. I'm a little surprised that was the ending, to be honest. 
that did not go on nearly as long as I thought it would because of the high monster count. It seemed like a very significant portion were imps in impossible to reach places. I didn't play it at all this week. Um, I wasn't feeling well for most of the week, so I just didn't stream. So I haven't done Dune Delta yet. I might do that on Monday. I might just do Quake. I don't know, because I'm actually starting to get into a Quake mood again. Have not decided yet. Yeah, this year, for some reason, I have just been in a very indecisive mood. But yeah, at least Blackforge Basilica... I'm not sure what to think of it. It was a pretty neat uh, map for the most part. I almost thought it was going to go into slaughter territory, but you can kind of just like skip past a lot of stuff, so... I have no idea. Alright, so... Doom page for this. Let's get to the next one. Alright, he does say flat out this is vanilla, so that's good. Yeah, so this next map is The Drain by Lone Alpha 2401. Oh god, I almost thought... Right below his username on the Doom World page, it says loan2401.neocities.org. I thought it was GeoCities there for a second. So that was that would be some mad nostalgia. Alright, so the description says this map was initially made for Attic Telephone's Radio Free Gehenna. But as that project seems to have no chance of ever being released, I'm putting my map out as a standalone. Uses Doom 2 IWAD vanilla compatible. Yeah, I used to have a uh, GeoCities page. I used to make incredibly shitty comics with uh, and upload them on there, too. Remember BobandGeorge.com? It was, like, somebody making, like, Mega Man comics. I kind of, like, st I was unoriginal, so I kind of stole the idea. They were also flat-out terrible, too. Alright, we can cut the music. I'm not even sure if that... Hold on. Oh my god, the website is still around. I don't think they make any more comics, but... Like, holy shit. I can't believe that website's still around. I thought it'd be, like, just... I thought it'd either be dead or just given to some, like, advertising company, but no. Well, retro streams in general are kind of like that. That's why I like Vinny so much. Because he does a... Well, he does retro and he does some modern as well. He just does whatever he feels like it. Which I do too, but on a much smaller scale. I'm stuck. 
getting killed. I have one health. So before I even go down there, I'll uh, play it glacial slow. Because these guys were wearing me down way too fast last time. Whoa, why is that note so loud? Jesus. I could use some health, but I'll definitely take some armor if I can get over there. Nah, it's too wide. Oh, I think I know how to get over there. God, I'm not dead. Okay, there's like there's just a random chain gunner there. the super shotgun and also gave me some shotgun ammo which is good problem right now is my health situation
God, I hate Revenants. This is being really lazy. Yeah, I can't do that. This one's hard. This one's a bit hard. I want to see what's in there and why you have to open it. He's pissing me the hell off, so... I have three health. That part right there is what's killing me. I just gonna let him kill me. This Mancubus is gonna be really lazy this time. Oh no, wait, he's fighting something else.
Oh, they killed him. Shit, that's not good for me. Oh, wait. How did he get... What? How did he get over there? Shit, I'm so friggin' low on ammo. If it's one criticism I'll give this guy is put a little bit more health on the map, please. <laughs> Plenty of armor, but not enough healing, I don't think. I mean, there is secrets, but... my arm. How would you even go about accessing that? God damn it. A bunch of armor bonuses and no healing. A stim pack. Literally just a stim pack. I hope this could potentially lead to something. I guess another stim pack is alright.
Great. There's an arc vial and he's resurrecting shit. I'm dead. Nice, I got five health. Done. Thank fucking God. I would say that map is all right. Uh, put a little more healing around. I think the map as it stands is actually pretty good. Just, you could maybe put a few more stim packs around, or maybe like a med kit, an extra med kit here or there. Because uh, it was extremely reset heavy. But otherwise it was not it was not that bad. It was actually uh it was pretty decent. Okay, moving right along. So what's next on the list? Which L? This one seems really big, too. Well, that one wasn't that big, but this one seems like... This one will probably take the rest of the stream. This is actually a little unique, because I actually need to run TNT with this, not Doom 2. Okay, so the map is Witch L, and it is by Mr. The Joshman. Witch L is a Witch Haven inspired level for TNT made for boom compatible source ports. I have not played Witch Haven yet, but I know what it, I know what game he's talking about. This level is another long one, landing play testing sessions from about 20 to 30 minutes. So yeah, it's probably going to take me the most rush of the stream. Difficulty can be charitably described as intermediate and shouldn't pose too much of a struggle for the average player. Originally, I was going to modify the weaponry to have a more medieval theme and be melee focused. This idea was abandoned because it wasn't very good, and you'll see why when you get there. Yeah, two texture packs. I, f I think this is all included. Yeah, it doesn't seem like he uses anything else, so yeah, I could probably still use Smooth Doom and PlayStation sound effects. Bugs, I know about the slime trail on the stairs in the mini fort. I chased that little fucker all over the map and trapped him there for now. Hopefully he stays there. The fuck is he even talking about? <laughs> oh, 
I guess I'll figure it out, because it's not in the preview. I like how I didn't extract it in that entire time I was talking as well. Yeah, almost 600 enemies. Titchell? I was about to say, until I get armor, those hit scanners are gonna be scary, but thankfully, got armor pretty early. Two secrets. Ah. Is there anything back here? Oh yeah, super shotgun. Perfect. Nice shooting text. At least I have the rocket launcher now. Oh shit, I probably could have. Let me see. Probably nothing up there, but. Doesn't hurt the check. Unless I get hit by them, then it definitely hurts the check. Thank you. 
Ah, breadcrumb. are definitely levels you have to concentrate on. This one, however, for the most part, it's pretty good. I took so much damage in a very short amount of time. I don't know where he came from. This music, for some reason, reminds me of, a uh, Crash Bandicoot. Even more rockets over there, jeez. You know what? I might as well just pick that up now, especially since there's armor bonuses here. Ah, this like has this music has Crash Bandicoot vibes to it. I can't 
I'm gonna see what's over here, because this almost seems like it's a secret. Probably not. I almost feel like I've been here before. They've given me so much rocket ammo, though, that I'm actually maxed out. Stray Caco Fireball. literally steps right here. Oh, hey! Finally found a key. Uh-oh, this isn't good. It's a lot of them starting to come in. I mean, that's also just more rocket ammo. Do I really need that? I need to go down that way. I'm going backwards if I go this way. fell. Ow. Okay, I... You know what? I'll reload. I lost a lot of health for, like, no real good reason. In fact, I'm gonna run for it. And see what happens. I feel like a lot of these enemies are just going to start killing each other.
and my health is really low. All right, never mind. I don't know if I want to save right now. So I have no health or armor. Well, there's one of my problems dealt with. Okay, so I'll save, because I think I can at least get some health at some point. I'm assuming that I need... looking on I've defeated I think like about a third of the enemies maybe nah maybe more like closer to a half it's still kind of funny <laughs> it's still kind of funny that this just gives me uh this music gives me Crash Bandicoot vibes. Was there really like nothing in? I'm not done yet. Just yet. Wait, how did he survive? I'm still amazed that after all this time, I only ever found one key. A lot of the enemies around here are all dead. Not to be good surprise. Thank 
Well, this is where I found a blue key, so they wouldn't have any other keys here. That looks interesting. Oh, and then there's stuff... Okay. Even more interesting. There's stuff here. What? The hell hit me? I guess it must have been the Hell Knight. I got this already. What the fuck was that noise? Technically, I could have ignored that, since I already have the super shotgun. But eh. I don't have to worry about picking that up. Not yet.
mainly the reason why I didn't want to fire. It's because there were still pinkies walking around. And I got stuck, so I got hit. And I ain't even talking shit. Oh, I got another key, too. They can get up there, so there's no point. Red key, yellow. A lot of these doors seem like they're going to open up at some point. He has to die first. There's probably another one. If this was symmetrical at all. So maybe there was only one. Yeah, I don't hear another Mr. Happy. I am, however, sad that my Mega Armor is almost depleted. This is gonna be fun. At least I have the uh, plasma rifle. Very bad RNG there, because I got hit for a lot. And then I got hit again because the Hell Knight hit right through the Baron, or at least it looked that way.
Oh, I'll take that. That could have been bad, thank god it wasn't. What? Oh, I think he was up there. No, 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 no. No, 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 you're, you're not getting the drop on me. You're, you're not getting the drop on me, all right? No. No, you're not taking away, like, 50 health for, like, no fucking reason. Absolutely not. Oh. Okay, well, that's where that leads. Sigil has me ruined for life. I always think that maybe that's hiding a secret or something. Hold on. Just drifting down in my seat. You know what, just in case I do have to go out there, I'll just get rid of that Mancubus. I probably do have to go out there. Oh wait, never mind. Probably don't. Oh, wait, right. I do have to go. Well, it's the shortest way is out here. Not that many, and I left a lot of enemies behind, so... Unless some just spawn. 
and weren't part of the monster count. There's not that really that many left. But it seems like there's going to be a big fight because they're giving me a lot of ammo. That's it. Alright, that one was really well done. You know, surprisingly enough, I didn't get lost. Uh, and that level seemed kind of sort of open-ended, but not really. Like, I was even surprised I even found that blue key. I was just kind of exploring. But yeah, I was actually very impressed with that one. I like that one a lot. That's what Witch Haven is like. I should really get to it soon. Said he got inspired by that. I do have it on my wish list. I don't think I bought it yet, but I just have so much on my plate, and I keep constantly delaying <laughs> getting to things. So I think I could probably get to one more thing. Oh yeah, uh, this probably won't take long either. Might as well get to this. There's a few other things on this list that I really wanted to do too, but I don't really want to spend longer than four hours. Is that really his name? Yeah, I guess that's really his name. Alright. This is... Animarium. This one's a little different, too. Energy salt pack. Halfway bet- Alright, so the, uh, the description of the Doom World page for Animarium. Halfway between an adventure map and a visual sort short story. Animarium is a dialogue-heavy non-combat project born spontaneously some time ago. Use use to initiate dialogue, hard re-render, and free look are required. Yeah, and some of the other comments are saying that it's really short, so it's probably not gonna hopefully it won't be longer than like ten minutes. Really, the only thing that I had left was UAC Mining Facility. I actually got to everything else. It's rare. Usually I have quite a few things missing on my list. Ah, uh, new arrival. Welcome. Welcome to where? What is this place? Some sort of limbo? Can't say for sure. Limbo, as in... As in a place you go after death. Yeah, we're dead. You're dead. Except... Well, shit. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't too thrilled about my 
death either. The green human. He barely even looked at me and felled me in one shot. Embarrassing, really. Over time, I've come to terms with it. Found my place in this world. I just tend my... I just tend to my rosarium now. Rosarium? I plant one rose every day. A red one where I feel normal. A blue one when I'm sad, and a green one when I'm happy. There are no green ones. <laughs> no. So what now? <laughs> Make yourself at home, I guess. It is your home. It is your home, after all. Yeah, there's not... I don't know if, uh... Hang on. Yeah, uh, I'm not supposed to... I should take Smooth Doom out. I don't know why I included it. Okay, so we'll just, uh... We'll take that from the top. Well, what is this place Limbo is in? Well, maybe not dead dead, but we're in an afterlife. But quite alive, actually. I'll do some different ones. I wish I could say the same. I just tend to my Rosarium now. I plant one rose every day. Green one, I'm happy there are no green ones. So what now? Make yourself at home, see you around. Alright. We're caught up. Yeah, he doesn't have any side textures. I guess whoever made this is probably just testing stuff. Oh, I can fly. Didn't even realize that. I can fly by default. Hey, how did you get up here? <clears throat> I just found myself here. Do you ask every demon located in an impossible spot this question? Feels like I'll be leaving soon anyway. Why is that? Because, well, consider this. Here I am, standing on this column that serves no apparent purpose. In a strange world in an unknown nook of the cosmos, I can't do anything. I can't go anywhere. There has to be some higher purpose to this, right? Maybe? <laughs> so what could it be? I think we're in a purgatory, atoning for our shortcomings. Eventually we'll move on, and so the best course of action is to simply wait it out. It might take a while. Or it might happen the next minute. Well, to be fair, I always expect my next missile to be homing. Even though I know the actual percentage is quite low. Meanwhile, I spend my time stargazing. Stargazing? I've been wondering, do you think it ever ends, the space? Uh... I think it kind of warps on itself. Meaning you come back to where you started if you were to wander long enough? My theory is that... Wait, what is it? Something's happening. I think I was right. My time here is up. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye, friend. Oh, he's just gone. I can stand in a spot now. <laughs> Yo, check this out. It's Big Mank. Chilling here in limbo with my purple drank and my guts kimbo. Been keeping it real all my life and beyond now, I'm the king of this nether realm pond. Yo, your bars are weak. You should quit ASAP. Why are you even called the poet on the map? Real talk, homie. <laughs> I'm not trying to hate. And how do these pads even hold your weight? Okay, let's call it a draw. <laughs> you remember how you got here? I do. We were supposed to ambush the green human. Dead simple, they said. Well, something went wrong and here I am. You're new here, right? How do you like it here? I'm assuming I'm not Doom Guy because otherwise they will recognize me. I like it fine, nice spot for a vacation. I don't, all I do is talk to weirdos, I'm picking that one. Well, you don't have to talk to us, but who knows how long you'll be here. You might consider finding some occupation for yourself to pass the time. Hey, let's talk, how do you like it here? I love it, it's so peaceful. I think I like it more than hell, much less the human world. You like your afterlife more than your life? Now that you put it this way, I do. I always felt my life never really started in the first place. I thought I was destined for great things. I kept waiting for some magic moment. It never came, but now I think my death was it. I see. Thanks for sharing. I just felt like getting some things off my chest. I'll see you around. Of 
quite the free thinker for a mancubus. Hello. What are you doing here? I just finished installing lighting. <laughs> Taking a break now. I built this maze myself. Why did you build it? I was inspired by other mazes, structures. Thought I'd try it too. Turns out it's a whole new feeling. Being impressed by your own creation. Did you make the map too? What map? You know, the map. Huh? If you mean your map, then yes, I make them for all newcomers. It's not very detailed on your in your case, since you can fly anyway. Do you know if there's an exit? Oh yeah, he's called the mapper. Follow the lights or just fly out. I don't mean the maze. Ah, you mean the metaphysical exit. Try one of the tubes down below. Thanks. There's him in the sky. I think he's probably the last one. What's up? We are. <laughs> true, true, but not up enough. I can't go any higher, can you? Why would I want to go any higher? To escape from here. I tried everything. Can't get can't go too high, can't go more than a few feet from the shore. It's like an invisible wall out there. Can you believe I've tried headbutting those translucent shields down there? I can believe that, yes. And I know there is a way out, and I know I'll find it. What if there isn't? There is. There has to be. But what if you're right? What if there is no way out, huh? But then, what if there is no way out? I don't want to spend an eternity in this shithole looking at trees. You'll get out of here one day. I know I will. Sorry for losing my temper. It's just, you know what they say. Hell is other demons. No problem. Uh. Just in case I... Out of nowhere find the actual exit. Oh. Wait, so what was the... Marshmallows over, or not marshmallows, but uh, mushrooms over here. Oh, there isn't it. <laughs> hello. I said hello. I heard you. I just don't feel like speaking. Why not? We are not real. You mean we're dead? No, I mean ever played a video game. <laughs> I'm playing one right now. Finally, someone who gets me. Wait, that means you're an NPC created for my entertainment. Look, you're self-aware. I'll, I'll pick number one. Thanks, asshole. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, there's more. It's like several spots. Uh, I'll try the waterfall area first. Very, very pretty. Can't grab those, whatever they are. Oh, I think this was the other area. Oh, no, it wasn't. I think all three of them are connected, though. Is there an actual physical ending to this map? I mean, it seems like they kind of hinted at it. The fool, the killer? Oh, him? 
reading was the killer. Who do you kill? Well, have you noticed the ground pattern here? Kind of looks like a web. Not really. <laughs> well, it does, and the crystals here are places if to lure you. I don't like where this is going. Gotcha, just kidding. Not gonna attack you. I'm killing time here, waiting for the reincarnation. Reincarnation? Yeah, see, my theory is that this whole place is essentially awaiting her for her new lives. I believe in the cycle of life and death, the turn of the wheel, all that. So who do you want to be reincarnated as? A mastermind seems like a natural progression. What about you? What would you like to be in your next life? Oh, I'm a caco demon? I guess that's why I can fly. An arc file. <laughs> Never liked the smug pricks myself. They have this snobbish demeanor. Like, they are superior to everyone. Wait, something's happening. What is it? My next life is starting. Farewell, friend. I think the fool was the imp, wasn't it? Yeah, what about... The explorer was him. I talked to the gardener, the mapper. Did I talk to the observer? I don't think I did. So he's down here somewhere. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He was he was here. But he he's another one that passed on. He was the revenant. I already talked to the poet. I think I talked to everybody. Yeah, now I'm wondering if that's it or if there's an actual exit. Well, I sh guess I should probably just fly out of the map. Maybe not. Oh, him. Maybe I should talk to him again. Got one of the tubes down below. Do they mean this? These are the only things that look like tubes. You know, besides this, which is like a waterfall. It's flowing up now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, you can't go in any of them. That might be it. I don't really think you can leave the level at all. Yeah, except maybe no clipping. I wonder where this music's from. probably mentioned where it was from and I just was not paying attention yeah so I'm like right below where the gardener is yeah I don't think there is an actual level exit And it just kind of seemed like a small project for him. Hold on. 
I was too dumb to find the exit, and I think I just spotted it. It's got to be somewhere down on that room. I was looking at somebody's video. Did I? Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> well, I mean, this is farther. Yeah, I can't find the exit either. I'm assuming the hint was look in the tubes down below. Yeah, hold on. I think I'm just afraid of... I just like flying. <laughs> no one wants to be a pain elemental. It might be in this room. I don't know. If it's not in this room, it's got to be in the middle. That's... Where... Yeah, wherever the hell this level exit is. They put it in a really good spot. This is, like, bothering the hell out of me. Like, I really want to find it. It's got to be in this middle room, too. I don't think it would be in here. I checked all three of these. He said check the tubes down below, and these are the tubes. But I can't, like, do anything with them. I mean, these look kind of tube-like as well, but I doubt it's right here. I just cannot find where the level exit is. It's not on the map either. I 
And I don't think it's up here on the surface. Yeah, try one of the tubes down below, but I can't go into any of the tubes. Almost feels like I got into one of these at one point, but I don't think I did. God, I wish more people ran this so I could just look it up. <laughs> Try one of the tubes down below. The only things that you can enter are these. And I went down here, and there's just nothing. You can't go into here. I talked to everyone. I even talked to the, uh, the Arachnatron again. Vex. Quick save it again. Alright. Well, since we can fly... There is a level exit, is there? I'm seeing an incredibly long thing right here that didn't lead anywhere. And now I'm stuck. I don't think there's an actual level exit. Not God. Uh, fly, I guess. No, flying doesn't even get me out of here. <laughs> flying makes me go faster, at least. Oh my god, Jesus. Yeah, I am seeing nothing to indicate that there is a level exit. See how far left or right can I go? Alright, I think I'm gonna end it here. I don't think there's an actual 
He said check one of the tubes below. You can't go into the tubes without cheating. Unless he's talking about the ones that look like waterfalls, but there's nothing in them. So I'm gonna assume that there's no actual like metaphysical exit. I think he was I think it was just japes. But I could be wrong. Maybe I'm just really blind. But uh, anyway, that was still a really interesting one I added on. But yeah, that's going to be it for the stream for tonight.